Programming beginners often ask themselves how important mathematics is for programming and whether you have to be good at mathematics to be able to become a good programmer. In this video I want to talk about it because it is a frequently asked question. Be sure to stay tuned, it will get exciting. Before we get started, we would like to point out that JSparrow offers an unlimited free trial period. JSparrow is an Eclipse IDE add-on which is extremely valuable, especially for Java programmers. It helps you reduce code smell, find and fix bugs, can refactor your legacy code and through the life markers you can learn Java best practice solutions while you program. Does that sound interesting for you? Then simply test it for free and see for yourself. Link is in the video description. Hello and welcome to the JSparrow Start Programming YouTube channel. My name is Ben and today I would like to talk about mathematics and programming. Many people have the funny image in their heads that the programmer is also a math genius and that's why I want to do a bit of enlightenment here because of course that's not the case in reality. But first, the most obvious. Of course it is very helpful if you're good at math as a programmer because in programming you can very often use math for yourself to easily find certain solutions to problems. And in this video I don't want to dispel the thought at all that mathematics is completely irrelevant for programmers because of course that's not the case either. Mathematics can help a lot when programming and in my opinion it is also important for a good programmer to have basic knowledge of mathematics. However, the emphasis is on basic knowledge and not on the math material of a high school diploma or degree. Most highly complex mathematical tasks are taken care of today in the form of libraries or frameworks. This means that as a programmer, you don't usually have to worry about such absolutely highly complex topics because that is already abstracted away from you. Personally, I've been programming for 10 years now and to be honest, I haven't really been confronted with highly complex mathematics in programming in these 10 years. The most complicated thing I had in game development was that I had to use linear algebra where I had to work with vectors to move game objects or to implement collisions or to use trigonometry in game development and here and there a matrix might have to be rotated. But that was it and I was able to learn these things at the point where I needed them and that was always very interesting. As I said, that was all in the game development area. In game development, you need more mathematics, I mean much more mathematics, than for example in the normal application development area. When programming very simple application software, you usually don't need any mathematics at all. Of course it can also happen that you have to use mathematics in the program when calculating, but then these are usually very simple calculations that you do there. In other words, with the basics of mathematics you can actually get quite far. And when you need math to solve specific problems, you can learn those math concepts on the fly, means when you really need them. As I said, I was never really good at math at school, but over time I was able to teach myself the things I needed for programming and yes, I really enjoyed that. So I always hated mathematics at school and now I think it's actually a very interesting subject that I like to study. To answer the question whether you have to be good at math to be a programmer, well, no, you don't have to. So if you're not good at math yet, you can also start programming and learn the necessary ones over time. And yes, of course, math is very often very useful. And if you're good at math, you can then solve certain problems correspondingly faster than others. To be fair, of course, I have to say that. But in other words, dealing with mathematics as a programmer can only be beneficial and is actually very interesting because with programming you can visualize these rather dry mathematical concepts and then you can make the whole topic more tangible. In this sense, that's it with the video. I hope you liked it. If so, I would be very happy if you subscribe to this channel and of course I would also be happy if you gave me a thumbs up under this video. With this in mind, I say goodbye and wish you a wonderful day.